This book is called Animal Life Cycles. This was written by Susan A. DeStefano. And first, we're just gonna do a picture walk. Let's look through at all of the beautiful and amazing photos in this book. And as we do, I want you to pay attention to what you notice is in each of the pictures and how they are all sort of alike. So look at those four photos. What do you see in each one of them? I see a lot of what might be like a mom and a baby animal, but then that's, that's interesting. Those don't look like small versions of ladybugs. The other animals all look like the big version. What do you see? I wonder what that thing is. This looks like an egg. <laughs> I want you to look at the two animals in the picture and compare how are they alike and how do they look very different? Again, how are they alike and how are they different? Look at that one. Ooh, that must have something to do with spiders. I wonder if those are spider eggs. I wonder what they're inside. Looks like a lot more parents and babies. And again, I know a little bit about penguin parents and babies. I know that they huddle really close together and I know that the dad penguin, at least with the emperor penguins, the dad takes care of the egg. That's different than a lot of animals are. Ooh, and I wonder what he's looking at in that jar. All right, let's go back and read, thinking about what we saw in all those pictures. Life is like a circle that goes around and around. Animals are born, they grow, then when they are old enough, they have babies, and life begins again. We call this the life cycle. So it's kind of interesting to think all these little baby animals one day will grow up and probably have babies of their own, and that's the life cycle. It starts all over again. Life begins. All living things have a life cycle. For most animals, the life cycle begins when the female, that's a name, a science word for girl, when a female lays an egg. When the baby animal is big enough to live in the world, it breaks out of a sh its shell. The egg hatches. So I'm noticing a lot of pictures that must have something to do with eggs. This says the mother spider carries her eggs in a silk sack. The eggs will hatch in warm weather. This caption says the caterpillar is breaking out of its egg. In time, it will become a butterfly. That's pretty crazy to think that animal is going to become a butterfly. Look at how unusual that egg looks compared to some of the eggs we're used to seeing. Not all animals hatch from eggs. Most mammal babies grow inside their mother's body and are born alive. Horses, monkeys, and cats are mammals. Mammal moms take care of their babies after birth. The babies feed on the mother's milk. So we have kangaroos. Do you see the baby kangaroo? I know that animal actually lives inside a pouch. So it's born alive just like other mammals but then it lives inside that pouch of the mom until it's big enough to be able to walk around on its own. These are orangutans, so similar to monkeys. This says whales are mammals. You might think whales are more like fish, but they're actually mammals like we are. A baby whale gets milk from its mother. Fish don't do that. And the bottom caption says a bobcat litter is usually two or three kittens. 
So that mom might have two or three babies at one time. Growing up. Most newborn animals look like their parents when they're born. Others grow to look like their parents over time. Animals take different amounts of time to grow up or mature. You might see that word, mature, so growing up. Some take only a few weeks, but others take years. We have tree frogs. These are flamingos. The flamingo chick's feathers turn pink when it's about one year old. And there's a baby giraffe, also called a calf, and it's about six feet tall at birth. Six feet is about how tall a lot of grown-up men, like people, men are. That's actually quite a few inches taller than I am. So that baby giraffe is taller than I am when it's born. When it's all finished growing, it may be 18 feet tall. That's 18 rulers on top of each other. So this says some animals mature in a few weeks. Can you imagine if you were born and then your mom and dad let you go off on your own after a few weeks? I don't think humans are ready that soon. Mammals usually learn to take to care for themselves from their mothers. They learn to hunt, to keep themselves clean, to find shelter, and to keep safe. Some animals that hatch from eggs must learn on their own. Their mothers leave just after laying their eggs. Baby sea turtles hatch on the beach. Then they scurry to find their own way to the water. So they don't actually meet their mom and do anything with her. This is an ostrich with the babies. Mother bears teach their cubs to fish. So that's a, an example of a parent who does help take care of the baby and teach the baby new things. This is the egg sac of a black widow spider. Babies are hatching inside the sac. So those are actually the baby spiders and I don't think the parent is anywhere around. Moving on. Sooner or later, animals begin to live on their own. Some animals move on just days after birth. Others take months or years. Many mammals stay with their families until they are able to take care of themselves. Alligators, to see the babies, leave their mother after a year. So they spend about a year taking care of their babies. There's elephants, owls, and a baby zebra can't leave its mother until it memorizes the pattern of her stripes. Wow. So it must pay attention to every single black and white stripe on that zebra and it memorizes the pattern, and I guess then it can leave and maybe come back and find her again? That's crazy. New beginnings. Animals continue to grow until they are old enough to reproduce or bring new life into the world. So that means the word reproduce means bring new life into the world. That must be like having babies. So although old animals finally die, the birth of each new animal means that the life cycle continues. When a penguin is about two years old, it starts looking for a mate. So that would be like a partner to be parents so that they could have a baby, a baby penguin. This little chart here says animal lifespan. A span is how long or how big something is. So this must be how long an animal lives. And I'm noticing on this column, it has different names of animals. And over here, it has amounts of time. So this must be how long each of these animals typically lives. So a house spider, just a regular spider, lives between two and four years, and then it dies. A fruit fly only lives for one month. So it's hatched out of an egg and then its whole life is only about a month and it dies. But a brown bat can live 30 years plus. That means even more than 30 years. 
A bluebird lives about five years. An ant lives about 15 years. I had no idea ants lived that long. A bear lives about 31 years. And an alligator lives 56 years. So that means there are alligators that have been alive longer than I have. That's pretty old. The more you find out about life cycles of animals, the more amazed you will be. Pick an animal you really like and find out more about its life cycle. So if you were going to choose one animal to learn more about, which animal would you choose?